Manny Pacquiao is obviously one of the most athletic fighters out there. He's probably one of the most recognizable fighters out there. And in preparation for the May 2nd fight, all the eggs are in the basket for both these fighters. The focus and the concentration for Manny in his camp of what they've had to go through from a physical standpoint. He wants to be in 100% great shape. The running has been a little bit more intense. The agility has been a little bit more intense. The speed training has been a little bit more intense. And I think that to make sure you're 100% prepared for a fight of this magnitude, everything is just stepped up. I think this is a fight that everybody wants to see. And it's a fight that both these guys have wanted for years. And so just the level of conditioning and preparation has been turned up a notch. The condition that your body has to be in from a psychological standpoint and from a conditioning standpoint is through the roof. Manny's in a situation where he's doing five minute boxing rounds with 30 second breaks in between. And so just to over train and to be over ready from a conditioning standpoint is something that's really a big focus for Manny Pacquiao. From a footwork standpoint, Manny Pacquiao has to have superior footwork. The reason why he has to is because, you know, it's Floyd. He's the best counter puncher ever. You have to be able to dodge those punches and your footwork dictates where your body goes. Any great boxer has phenomenal footwork. You've always looked over time with some of the best boxers ever, their footwork is always impeccable. The way they position their body and adjust their feet very rapidly, it sets them up for the punch and the next punch and sets them up for defense. With Manny, the footwork gets improved by doing ladder drills. He's constantly doing uh, quick ladder drills, in and out of ladders, backwards, laterally, sideways. So that's what it improves his footwork and obviously jump roping. Just the repetitiveness of the jump roping, feet gets a lot more quicker, a lot more agile, and those are the things that's focused on with Manny Pacquiao from an agility standpoint and conditioning standpoint for this fight. When you think about a guy like Manny Pacquiao, a guy that's 143 pounds, he packs a punch. You have to be so strong from a strength standpoint, We're talking about 500 push-ups a day, 1,000 push-ups a day, this is what he's constantly doing. On top of the pounding of the heavy bags, the speed bags, and the sparring, he's in phenomenal shape and unbelievably strong. I think out of all the athletes that I work with, there's nothing that compares to a boxer. You have to be in such great shape. The physical demands of being a boxer, the mental aspect, you're, you're, you're literally not knowing what the person's gonna do. You're dodging punches, you're throwing punches, and you're unbelievably tired. So the willpower and the will strength that comes from your conditioning. So boxers are in the gym six, eight, nine hours a day. So you think about that kind of time and how they train and how they work, it's nothing like it from any other sport. There can be no weaknesses for when you're a boxer. And so I think the core strength is huge. Every aspect of your body just has to be in phenomenal shape to be a great boxer. There are moments where I am shocked of just the willpower of how they push through it. Cause you have to be a little off or a little special to work out that hard, put your body through that kind of rigorous battle every single day. I think this fight will go the distance. I think both fighters are gonna come in in amazing shape. I think it's just gonna just come down just to willpower. I think that it's gonna probably favor Floyd Mayweather. I think if Manny Pacquiao gets on him early, disrupts him, comes with punches and with flurries, and that's gonna take a lot of energy. If he does that, I think it'll be a tough fight for Floyd Mayweather.